Oh my goodness, look at that. It's literally teetering back and forth. What is going on everybody? a and Coinbush, you're here back with a brand new haul at Coinbush, your video for you all today. And in today's episode, we're going to be doing a $100 million buy-in. And they gave us 10 quarters to get started today. Very, very expensive game. So we practically paid 10 million bucks per quarter. This is outrageously expensive. There's a lot of money on the line, so we got to make it count. Uh, believe it or not, the manager actually requested that I pay $1 billion for this game. And I told him that was way too expensive, and the most I'm paying is $100 million. Take it or leave it. So anyway, um, we put all 10 quarters in there. We won nothing back, so... Yeah, but anyway, he said he would have given me 100 quarters for a billion, so I kind of think that that might have been the better option now that we lost all 10 of those quarters. So I guess we have no choice but to do another $100 million buy-in or just cut our losses there. So let's do another buy-in, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I am back. So I did another $100 million buy-in, and they gave us 10 more quarters. So I put like half of them in right there. I think we should have pushed over there on the right side. I mean the left side. Oh my goodness, look at that stack of quarters right there about to go. Tell you what, let's put some on the left and some in the center and on the right. Basically a push across the whole field. Oh wow, that's going to be a good push there. Nice, look at that. I'd say I was probably, I don't even know, like 15 quarters back or so. That's what we got right there. So yeah, this makes $200 million invested in total today. It's very, very expensive, so we kind of have to make $200 million back. I'm not seeing any dice in there today, so there's probably dice in the mystery bags. Oh my goodness, wow, did you see that one right there? And I believe I can see something blue, like a blue chip or something on the edge right there. So the odds are that is a $1 chip, and that is actually worth 500 free quarters if we can win that. So yeah, we're gonna turn that in. They'll give us 500 quarters absolutely free, which is super nice. So yeah, they got this thing loaded up excellently well today. They got like probably one of the biggest towers, tornado towers made out of $10,000 chips back there. Hopefully it destroys all these other towers they got in here whenever it falls down. It's a big old tornado, so I definitely think it would destroy something. They got a big old wall, very, very unique wall made out of $5,000 chips in there. I haven't seen one like that in a very long time. It's got uh, quarter towers on top of that. All right, let's check it out and see what we got. Oh my goodness, check this out. We hit the mega jackpot right there, $1 chip. So let's turn that in right fast. We'll be right back. All right, so we got our 500 free quarters. We turned in that $1 chip. Oh my goodness, we just got another one, I'm pretty sure. You see it, it fell like on the left side there. There's also one right there on the edge as well. That is awesome. Heck yeah, this is going to be a magnificent win today. And uh, they got two quarter towers on the edges of the corners there. Oh nice, we got a whole bunch of quarters on that push there. Do you see that? Nice, we also got some on the rocks. Holy smokes. Yeah, no wonder the manager wanted us to pay a billion for this game. This is pushing remarkably well. Well, they could have gotten us today with the one quarter challenge, that's for sure. They would have charged us one quarter per hundred million or one quarter per billion. Oh my goodness. Wow, that was absolutely in incredible right there insane incredible whatever you want to call it that was a whole bunch of five thousand dollar chips and quarters wow we made out like a bandit on that push right there so uh, we're going to continue pushing right here in the middle and try to get this enormous tornado tower to collapse down now this might be a pretty lengthy video today so sit back relax and enjoy the show so a little uh, story, backstory, or a summary, I meant, of what happened on yesterday's game. Pretty much the employees, like, underpriced the game that I played yesterday. You know, the game where that big old poker chip wall was in there. 
We actually bought into that game for only a million bucks and they gave us 1,000 quarters, which is a kind of a smaller buy-in with a crazy insane amount of quarters, which really wasn't fair for them and stuff. They was making it extra fair for me, maybe a little too fair. And uh, the owner actually got really, really upset with the employees. He was threatening to fire them, the ones that were in charge of the buying and stuff yesterday so basically for the ones who don't know we ended up winning over half a billion dollars yeah half a billion profit on yesterday's game not not counting the gold that we won and the quarters of course so uh yeah the owner was not too happy he's still kind of i guess irritated about that which i don't blame him i mean at the end of the day, he's in this business to make money. He doesn't want people to be winning all the time, you know. Technically, they're only supposed to pay out like 15% or something like that. But uh, here lately, it's been a lot more than that. Lately, it's been like 75% payout rate. So the odds of winning are definitely in your favor. And I know some other people who play these games, they've got a lot more money than I do. They try like billion dollar buy-ins on a daily, stuff like that. And sometimes they'll lose, sometimes they'll win. I think this one guy ended up winning like five and a half billion off of a one billion dollar buy-in game. I believe his name is like Frank or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, he wins. He wins with these pretty consistently, but uh, this, not to sound, uh, what's the word, like, like I'm bragging or something like that, but uh, I'm definitely probably the best player here, because I've been playing these coin pressures consistently for about eight years, seven or eight years now, so I've got lots of experience playing these machines, and uh See, I don't usually try billion dollar games regularly, and I'm sure if I did, you know, I would probably make five and a half billion as well, but uh, anyway, oh, let's see, that was the last of our quarter, so I'm going to go find those one dollar chips we had won, and I'll go ahead and turn those in right fast, so we'll be right back, stay tuned you all. Alrighty, we are back, let's get right back to pushing, so I got all those chips and quarters out of the loot chute. I separated everything, put everything in the correct spot, but uh, anyway, I found those two other $1 chips. I went ahead and turned those in. They gave us 1,000 extra quarters, so that put us up to, honestly, I don't even know how many quarters. I didn't uh, count them up or nothing like that. Uh, right beside this machine, I could actually show you all, uh, there's this little, I guess, like, weighing thing where you weigh the quarters and it tells you how many of them you got. Now that's how I'm able to give you all like an accurate amount of how many quarters we got. Now there's no way I would take the time to count up how many quarters we went off of each round. I would be here all day and all night probably for a whole week doing that just trying to get through one game by counting up all those quarters. So yeah they, uh, they also got a machine that tells you you know how many or how much value of poker chips you got when you weigh them and stuff like that like they can set it basically they weigh uh, like just one poker chip one five thousand dollar chip or something and then they uh, figure out how many or how much that weighs right and then they uh, put all of them in there then they just divide that by the weight or something. I don't really know how they do it exactly, but it's pretty simple like that. They uh, weigh the poker chips and count them up like that. Now yeah, they'd be here all day counting up all these poker chips we win sometimes. Yeah, they used to here a couple months back, or they recently stopped doing it. They would count the chips up by hand and use the machine to count them up with, but they kind of just did away with doing that. And now they just uh, resort to using that machine to count up the poker chips and whatnot. So anyway, yeah, this is a very, very expensive game today. $200 million, I mean, 
there's a lot of money on the line, but if we can actually get this to go and we can get this big old tower back here, uh, who knows what's going to be hidden down inside that tower. It could be... Honestly, I don't even know. But you know something I haven't seen in there in a long time? I haven't seen those little old uh, Bitcoins. I'm sure a lot of the original fans of this channel remember the Bitcoins. Now, the Bitcoins weren't worth like any cash value at all they wasn't like a real bitcoin like worth 20,000 or whatnot but anyway uh, basically one bitcoin was a free entry into a three hundred thousand dollar buying giveaway so pretty much like on a game that's worth like a hundred thousand dollars buy-in they would give you like 10 free quarters to start out with or 15 free quarters basically and then if, of course if you didn't win with that then you have to do a buy-in if you want to continue playing that game. Or you could just be like, well, oh well, I won that free giveaway and I tried my luck and I didn't win the free game, so better luck next time. You can do that as well. But, uh, yeah, they choose like one lucky winner at the end of each month. They haven't been doing that at all lately, so hopefully they bring back the Bitcoin and stuff. It'd be nice if they uh, had it where... You know, it would be like a free entry into a uh, $10 million buy-in or something. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? So, I don't know. They, uh, hopefully they hear me talking about this. Hopefully they watch my video later on and hear me talking about it and start putting the Bitcoins back in there. All right, well, I believe that tower on the pusher had lost uh, 10 grand at the base of it right there, obviously. So that's a good indicator that it's getting super, super close to falling over. I mean, it's obviously still got a lot of progress to make. That's like not even hanging over the edge of the pusher 5% of the way. It's still probably a good uh, centimeter or two away from the edge of the pusher. Yeah, but anyway, uh, we're still doing good on quarters. I'll have to get the quarters out of the loot shoot here in a few minutes. But I'll tell you what, since we're not really making much progress on this tower, uh, let's go ahead and put a whole bunch of quarters in there. Now this right here is called the uh, rapid fire technique. That was about, oh goodness, like 800 quarters all at once right there. We'll see if this does the trick. Hopefully it does. And uh, basically we're not going to win, you know, our 200 million back unless we're able to get these two mystery bags right here. So I'm really, really counting on this tower right here, the one on the pusher, to have a uh, green earbud or a red earbud or a $5 chip in there. Basically, if we win either one of those three items, we'll get to turn that in. They'll put all the stuff that is on the blue shelves into the play field. But if not, we're going to have to pay two times the original buy-in. So that would make us $400 million invested into this game in total today. So... Yeah, that is a concern that I have right now, that that green earbud or something may not be hidden inside the tower. I mean, I can see down inside the tower just a little bit. There's a blind spot, though, so I don't, don't really know if there's any earbuds in there, but just by looking at it, it doesn't look too good. So, I mean, I can't see all the way down inside the tower, but I can see a little bit of it. Alright, well that, all those quarters that we put in there definitely, you know, move that tower forward. Let's do it again. Let's put every bit of these right here in there at one time, so. Yeah, putting all the quarters in at one time like that definitely sounds like a rainstorm or something. A lot of people might find that pretty relaxing, and me personally, when I watch coin pressure videos, stuff like that, I enjoy hearing the quarters fall and whatnot. 
Now this morning about, I, I'm going to say like 6 o'clock in the morning or something, I went to bed around 2 or 2.30 last night. Well, actually, it was probably about 1.30, and I woke up at 6 o'clock in the morning, and it was, like, raining pretty hard outside and stuff. It was just very, very relaxing. And uh, I went back to sleep, and then I woke up at, like, 9 o'clock, 9 a.m., and I decided to go ahead and get up. See, I set up pretty late, you know, trying to get the videos ready, edit the videos, and make plans for the videos and whatnot. It's a pretty time-consuming job, if you ask me, but uh, believe me when I say this, I absolutely love doing this for you all. I really enjoy playing these games and making these videos every single day. I do this seven days a week. I don't really take days off, and uh, just so you know, I posted a brand new video over there on the second channel on the new and improved Pardo Silver Coin Brusher. And we did a $30 challenge basically just to see if it was going to be suitable to do a large buy-ins on there. And uh, I must say I wasn't too impressed, but everybody says that if you put, you know, like hundreds of dollars and quarters in there, like you can really start pushing quarters out of there. And I mean, heck, I guess it's that way for any coin pressure. Even the really, really stubborn ones, if you put several hundred and quarters in there, they're bound to move, you know. There's no way around it, really. Now, honestly, I don't know what to think about this big old tower on the pressure shelf. So, uh... Yeah, we've already been playing this for about... Let, let me see what the camera says. Oh, goodness. 54 minutes and 13 seconds. Wow, we've been playing a long time already. I didn't even realize we've been playing that long. Uh, about 15, 20 minutes of that was getting the loot chute cleared out. Then the other, you know, little bit of time was the time I was playing to get this tower. For you all, it might be like a 15-minute video or something so far. I'm not really sure. But uh, anyway, um, let me go down here and round up all these quarters we've won and we'll stack it up to the ceiling like way up there to try to get this humongous tower. So we'll be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, we are back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I rounded up all those quarters we've won. Boy, oh boy, we still got hundreds and thousands of quarters. So let's go ahead and stack this thing up. I'm just going to try to get the quarters stacked up to the ceiling back there so it moves this big old tower on the pressure yeah it's still got a lot of progress to make but as you can see down there at the main bottom of the tower there's a chip over there on that right hand side that looks like it's trying to work its way out of there and fall down to the pressure so hopefully that's what ends up happening oh my goodness well that helped right there so basically, we're just trying to purposely overlap the quarters so they pile up a lot more back there. So basically, dropping the quarters in at the wrong time like that right there is what we want to do for right now. And then after we knock down the tower, of course, then we can, you know, worry about winning the quarters back that we're stacking up. Now this video could be close to an hour long today. I don't know. I kind of hope not because uh, the other day, video was an hour long. It took like two hours for it to upload to YouTube. And uh, believe it or not, I actually have a, uh, what do you call it, like a sleep apnea appointment, the sleep doctor appointment today at like uh, 4 something, 4.15, I guess. Yeah, that's what time it is, 4.15. I'll let the doctor know what's going on with the CPAP and stuff. Basically, I used it yesterday for seven hours. And I felt like I was tired all day long. It felt like it was making my therapy worse. But then I discovered that I needed to replace the water filter. Not the water filter. What am I saying? The water chamber. You know, the chamber that goes in there. 
I use the air sense weapon machine. That's probably the best machine top of the line and uh, Yeah, I replaced the water chamber Because sometimes it would say like high leak detected or something. I mean if you use these machines, you know Exactly what I'm talking about, but if you don't I'm probably speaking a whole nother language to you, but Anyway, I'm mainly talking to the people that, you know, use the CPAP machines as well. Um, anyway, yeah, and I also replaced my full face mask, and it turns out I had taken that little, uh, what do you call it, that plastic piece that goes around the place where the climate line connects to. I removed that because I thought that was a piece of plastic. You know where it's brand new and stuff you know how they have plastic wrapped around stuff and i don't know if i was supposed to remove that and i'm gonna ask the doctor about that today but uh that could be why i'm not seeing a difference in my therapy and stuff let me know if you think that might be the culprit right there i think it is anyway because it's really the only thing that makes sense i'm uh using the same settings that i started out with when i was doing really really good so, yeah, there's really no reason I could not feel as good as I did back then, you know what I'm saying? And like last night, I'm just going to be honest with you, I used my machine for like 33 minutes. I just took it off after 33 minutes of using it, and I was like, you know what, uh, let's, just, uh, let's just sleep without using the CPAP tonight see how I feel tomorrow and I mean you can probably tell by my voice that I feel I mean decent I guess I'm still pretty tired I can tell I didn't use it but honestly I feel better today than I did yesterday when I used it for seven hours so that right there just goes to show you that the, the machine is making the, my sleep worse so yeah I kind of just uh didn't use my machine at all last night. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, that tower's hanging over the edge of the pressure now. I just now realized how much progress we've already made on it. Alright, so let's put every bit of those in there at once. It may not help us, but it may help us. I don't know. We'll see. really really need some movement on this big old tower really really trying to get it to go because we still got to win all the stuff that's on the blue shelves and who knows how many special chips they got in the mystery bags could be a whole bunch of them you never know now we're gonna have to go down there and round up all of our uh, quarters again because we're getting real low that's literally the last basket we got sitting on top of the machine. So let's put them all in there again. Oh my goodness, what in the world just happened right there? Holy cow, did you see that? That has never happened before. That was a one in a million trick shot right there. That was absolutely insane, you all. That literally shoved that uh, tower of $5,000 chips on the right corner over and it trick shot that tower of $25,000 chips in the mystery bag into a play field. Yeah, this right here, that has never happened before. Be sure you leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed that right there. That was absolutely insane, so that gives us something else to try to win now. Uh, let's try to get that mystery bag over there on the right. Oh my goodness, well I think I know the problem. Yeah, all the quarters are getting stuck in there. Yeah, I just put a whole bunch of quarters in. Yeah, I might have to call the staff back here for that one. Yeah, I think we accidentally jammed up the entire machine. Yeah, I can't even put quarters in up here at the top anymore. All right, so let me just uh, briefly call the staff back here. It might take them a little bit to arrive, but anyway, I will be right back. I'll let them know what happened. All right, so it turns out that entire pusher back there, or the entire 
uh, upper shelf thing, whatever you want to call it. All the quarters were stuck in there, so we called them back here, and one of those $5,000 towers on the left fell like behind this tower here. That is absolutely insane. So while that's crushing, I'm going to round up all these quarters that are down here. At least one full basket so we can, you know, try to win something. Alright, let's see. Yeah, there's so many $25,000 chips down here. That was from that tower we uh, trick shot into the play field. Wow. This is a ton of quarters for sure. You already know what's going to end up happening. Now that big old tower on the pusher is going to fall when I least expect it and it's going to scare me to death. Alright, well that's one basket and we got like, I guess, all those right there. Let's go ahead and rapid fire all those in there if we can. Oh my goodness, we just trick shot another tower into the play field. Do you believe that? That is absolutely insane. And that tower on the pusher, we're going to get it to go, you all. It is right there on the edge. This has got it right here. Come on, hit that like button and subscribe button, everybody. Help me get this tower. Let's hit that skill stop button, see if we can get it. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's literally teetering back and forth. Oh yeah, jackpot baby, that was the chip of lunch we was waiting on. Oh my goodness, wow. Unreal, that was absolutely amazing. Holy smokes, a bunch of y'all must have hit that like button for that. That was absolutely marvelous. Hands down, this has literally been one of the best games I've played in a while. Oh my goodness goodness wow I don't even know what to say about that but I am relieved that we got that tower to go finally and uh, a little bit surprised we was able to trick shot all those poker chips into the playing field like those uh, two towers on the right or three towers actually yeah that mystery bag gets uh, stuck against the glass though I don't know if they're going to count that as a win or what, but uh, anyway, I'll go through all those quarters and chips that we won to see if there was an earbud in there or a $5 chip or something. And if not, we'll go ahead and pay the $200 million to have them put all that stuff into the play field for us. But yeah, that right there was definitely worth the wait. That tower was super, super stubborn, but uh, luckily we were able to you know, trick shot some extra towers into the play field. And including a mystery bag, although the mystery bag stuck against the glass though. That's alright, I ain't really worried about it. We'll be alright. Dropping quarters all over the place though. Alright, well basically as of right now I'm just trying to get all these excess chips that are like on the right center area. So let's uh, push these out of here and we'll be set. And uh, give me some video suggestions for stuff you want to see on the second channel. Like for example, should I try a 1000 quarter Prado Silver Coin Pressure Challenge? I know Arcade Matt, or also known as Matt3756, tried that multiple times and he actually had pretty good results doing that. So that's what I might try. We might put a thousand quarters in the uh, Pato Silver Coin Brush machine, and we'll see what we can win from it. And that would really be a good, you know, test to see how good the machine actually is going to push. Uh, well, anyhow, that was the last of our quarters, so um, anyway, let's go down here and separate all that stuff we won, and we'll get right back to pushing. Stay tuned, you all. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I separated all those chips and stuff that was down there in the loot chute, and unfortunately, 
There was no sign of a $5 chip, green earbud, or red earbud today, so I went ahead and called the staff back here, and I asked them if they could like reset that mystery bag since it was stuck on the edge on the right, and they put it in the center for us. So uh, we'll open up this mystery bag, but the odds are that doesn't have a $5 chip or a red earbud or a green earbud. Cause like, yeah, they wouldn't put that on the blue shelf. They would have that in the original setup because it wouldn't make sense. Why would we need the $5 chip or something like that after paying double the original buy-in to get them to put all that stuff that's on the blue shelves into the play field? That just wouldn't be, you know, wouldn't make any sort of sense. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and open up that mystery bag right now, actually. We got it out of the loot chute, so... Yeah, let's check this thing out and see what they got in there. Well, it's pretty hard to get these strings open sometimes. All right, here we go. So let's check this thing out and see what we got. Oh my goodness, so we got a $1 chip and something else. There's a lot more stuff in there. Oh yeah, jackpot, baby. Check this out. So we got the white earbud today. So this right here actually gets us a free tower entirely made out of $25,000 chips. You couldn't get much better than that right there. And uh, we got another two one dollar chips. That's a thousand more quarters. And uh, we got the mystery money dollar sign keychain that could be worth one dollar all the way up to one billion dollars. That is absolutely amazing. And uh, we got two golden dice. So those will multiply the gold bars. And we got uh, six of the white dice. Those are the most important. So the white dice multiply the poker chips, the cash, and the value of that mystery money keychain. So yeah, those white dots are super valuable. So uh, anyway, I think before we pay double the original buy-in, let's go ahead and turn in that free tower of $25,000 chips. That way if we lose anything, uh, they'll automatically put it back in there whenever we pay double the buy-in. So we'll be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, we are back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I went ahead and turned in those two other $1 chips. They gave us a thousand extra quarters, and I turned in that wide earbud. They built that tower of $25,000 chips for us. Uh, it's a pretty good sized tower. It kind of looks like one of those spiral towers. Yeah, I don't know, it gets like more and more. Uh, I don't even know what you call that, but you see what I'm talking about, right? The chips like become more like uh, in a straight line as they get to the top there, instead of being like. A centimeter away they're like a millimeter apart now I don't know if you can see that but I can so anyway wish me luck everybody hopefully we can knock down this tower and make some good money on this round right here yeah I don't know how long this video is going to be today but I know it's going to at least be about 45 50 minutes long because we've been playing a long time already I mean, really, the longer video, the better, but if it seems like it's over an hour long, then it just takes forever to upload, and then I can't get the video out on time if it's an hour long. So let me know if you want to see more of these limited quarter games. I can try to start playing the limited quarter games more often. Just let me know if you all want to see them or not. That's all you got to do, really. That big old tower's about to go, I believe. It's like so close to going, it's hanging over the pusher about, I'm gonna say 30, 40% of the way. We done got the majority of the spare chips out of there except for the 15 grand on that right corner. Oh, nice, there we go, check it out, we got it. Yeah, but that was unlike anything I've ever seen before. Can't believe we was able to trick shot that big old tower of chips into the play field, the one that was on the right side there. That is unbelievable. Multiple towers fell into the play field, really. We got one of the mystery bags already. Yeah, it's been a perfect game today. No doubt about that whatsoever. 
Yeah, and I'm super, super excited to see what they got inside of this Mr. Bag here. Hopefully they got a whole bunch more white dice. I mean, keep in mind we have uh, $200 million invested into this game. And it's about to be $400 million because we're going to have to pay double the original buy-in for them to put all that stuff into the play field. Yeah, I don't know if six white dice would be enough to make our, you know, 200 million back. But we're going for a max jackpot win today. So I definitely want to win all the stuff that's on the blue shelves as well. So let's push that last 25 grand out of there. And we'll be set. Come on, nice push. All right, so let's pay the double original buy-in and we'll get right back to pushing. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, A and B coin brusher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So I uh, turned in the. Well, I wish I would have turned in the five dollar chip with the green earbud, but unfortunately I paid double the original buy-in, so an extra two hundred million for them to take all that stuff that was on the blue shelves and put it into the play field. So they uh, took all the five thousand dollar chips and built it into a brand new tower back there. It's a pretty tall tower. Hopefully we can, you know, push it out of there pretty easily. They took all the $25,000 chips and they put the cash on top of that. And that other mystery bag, it's right here in the center. So everything's in a decent spot, decent location, I guess. So anyhow, the number for today is 777. That's going to be the number for today. 777. So be sure you comment that number down in the comments section. Let's me know that you're still watching the video. Let's see if 1,000 people can comment the number 777 in the comments. I'm not going to mention it anymore throughout this video. Just to be sure you're still tuned in and still watching. And if this is your first time watching my channel and you've been entertained by this amazing video today, be sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon that way you're notified for future videos. That would really, really help out the channel. My goal is to get to 200,000 subscribers by the end of the summer. So technically by September the 21st this year is when I want to get to 200,000 subscribers. So be sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd help, I'd help out tremendously. And we'll do a really, really good video for 200,000 subscribers. Possibly a $2 billion buy-in or something. I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see. Oh my goodness, look at that, the two stacks of cash. They're stuck on the edge right there. Oh my goodness, one of them fell backwards. Oh my goodness, that tower just fell straight down like that. That is absolutely insane. So now everything's stuck on the edge. Nice, that left side's starting to break free though. Heck yeah. We'll need to uh, clear out that loot chute in just a second. Now this video is going to be super long today. I'm going to say at the minimum 45-50 minutes. That is just my uh, prediction. Now we need all these poker chips to break free. All these that are stuck on the edge like that. Let me know if the camera positioning is okay. Let me know if y'all can see the edge pretty good and whatnot. Now I'm wanting to get that mystery back on the right side though. I believe we're eventually going to get it. Nice, there it goes. We got a whole bunch of chips that was surrounding the mystery bag. That's incredible. Let's clear out that loot chute right quick. That might be the culprit for why nothing's falling down. Well, no, it wasn't, unfortunately. Everything's just uh, stuck against the glass, so. Oh, yeah, I believe we're going to get that uh, mystery bag. Nice, there it goes. Heck yeah, jackpot, baby. Let's clear out that loot chute. Yeah, I'm just glad we got that mystery bag out of there. 
that was technically the most important thing really. Hopefully it's got like a $50 chip or something like that in there. $50 chip would get us everything that we lost to the side slots. Yeah, that money actually goes to the owner. I don't get a win to keep any of that. The money that falls down those side slots on the left and the right. You can also call them gutters or dealer slots or side holes, whatever you want to call them. Who knows? But uh, anyway, we got that entire right side to go. Now we got to focus like on the left center area. Try to get the rest of these $5,000 chips. We're going to get them though, I'm telling you. Oh yeah, look at that right there. Perfect jackpot, baby. Now the only thing that's stuck on there is the two stacks of cash, which we're probably not going to get those on this round. I'll give it a try though. There we go, we got a bunch of $5,000 chips, sweet. Let's get that, try to get that stack of cash right here. I believe we're going to get it to go. And I'm holding the mystery bag in my hand as well. So uh, let's finish out some of these quarters. Try to get some of these excess quarters back that are piled up in there. Then we'll open up the mystery bag. So let's go ahead and check out this mystery bag right here and see if they got anything nice and valuable in there. Hopefully it's loaded up pretty good. Oh my goodness, how did that happen? Look at that, the string like broke loose right here at the top. That's uh, not my problem to worry about. But uh, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and check out the mystery bag. Oh my goodness, we got the pink earbud today. That is amazing. So uh, pretty much the pink earbud, that gets us a free tower of $10,000 chips. You know how the white one got us a tower of uh, 25000 The pink one gets us a free tower of $10,000 chips. So that's awesome. And uh, also, look at all these dice that we've won. We also got two $1 chips as well. It's, it's a thousand more quarters right there. Sweet. All right, let's see. We got two more gold dice and uh, looks like eight of the white dice. Heck yeah, that's a massive win right there for that one mystery bag. So yeah, I'm really, really hoping we can win our 400 million back. But let's go ahead and turn in the two $1 chips and that pink earbud, and we'll be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that pink earbud and the uh, two $1 chips. They gave us a thousand more quarters, and they built a free tower made out of $10,000 chips for us. So, I mean, I guess it could have been a little bit larger, you know, considering what we paid for the game like 400 million total but it is what it is at the end of the day this is all uh, bonus money right here anyway this round right here yeah used to they didn't even offer any special earbuds or special chips that got us free towers so i'm fine with whatever they put in there for us as long as we can win 400 million back that's all i'm concerned about really which we've won plenty of white dice today, so I definitely see it happening. Let's try to get these two stacks of cash out of the loot chute. All right, there we go, we got one of them. Let's try to get that other one. All right, there we go. Nice, we got both of the stacks of cash. Yeah, I feel like they put those stacks of cash in there as like uh, obstacles or something like that, because they, uh, They know they're going to get stuck in there and it's going to block everything from moving forward. I mean, it, the stacks of cash, there's only like 10 grand in each one of those. I mean, they might as well just take the two stacks of cash out of there and just add in two more $10,000 chips. That'd be much easier to win anyway. You get what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah... From what the owner and the manager and stuff have told me, they told me that more people 
have started playing ever since they added the cash in there. Well, they went like six or seven or eight months without putting any cash in there at all. I think like last October is when they first brought it back. Oh no, so we got that tower to go. Sweet. So let's push all those $10,000 chips out of there and we'll be set. Yeah, but anyway, what I was saying... Yeah, ever since they started adding the cash in there, more people have started playing on this machine and stuff like that. So they do it to entice more people because our actual cash money being in there is a lot more enticing to see than uh, poker chips for some reason. It's because you actually see the paper money and not just the round circular uh, chips that says 10,000 on one, 5,000 on the other. But for me, I'm used to seeing the poker chips, so I'd much rather see like a big old tower of $25,000 chips or something, rather than like 10 stacks of cash being in there. The poker chips would be more enticing to me, because I actually know they're worth a lot more than the cash, because I'm experienced playing these. So like I said, be sure you leave a like on this video. Let's try to get to 10,000 likes today. 10,000 likes. That would be spectacular if we could get there. All right, so let's get that last 10 grand out of there and we'll be set. All right, there we go. We got it. We got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely amazing. This has been a terrific game today. Absolutely terrific. So now I'm going to go ahead and call the staff back here. Uh, they'll put all them dots that we want on the pressure shelf. We have to roll them on down to here using our quarters. Whatever numbers are facing upwards, that's going to be our multipliers for this game. So let's call them back here. We'll be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So we ended up winning uh, 18 dice in total. We got 14 white dice and 8 gold dice. So wish me luck, everybody. Hopefully they land on some outstanding numbers today. Oh my goodness. Well, we're getting a couple ones I can see. The ones do not count at all, by the way. So that's the last thing we need today because we do need to win $400 million back. All right, let's get that last dice on that lower shelf. Oh my goodness, it looks like it might flip over to a five or a four or something. I don't want to risk it though, because if any of these dice end up falling down the side slots or over the edge, they're gone. We lose them completely. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and count everything up, multiply our winnings and our goal by all this right here, and I'll let y'all know what we ended up winning today from a $400 million buy-in. So we'll be right back. Stay tuned, you all. You all are not going to believe how much money I ended up winning today from a $400 million buy-in. This is absolutely magnificent right here. So I ended up winning $19,715,000. That is all the poker chips and the cash and the value of that keychain all put together. And I forgot to tell you all, the value of that keychain was worth $300,000 today, so that's quite a bit of money. And uh, the white dice totaled up to 42, so I'm going to get to multiply my winnings by 42. And in total, that put us up to $828,030,000 from a $400 million buy-in. So that means we profited $428,030,000 today. Oh my goodness, you all don't know how relieved I am. I thought for sure, you know, since we had to, to uh, buy in two times today to get it to go, we lost that uh, $100 million right off the bat, then when we had to pay two times to buy in, I thought for sure this would be a losing game today, but luckily, uh, we stayed consistent, and we actually ended up, you know, doubling our money today, which is absolutely outstanding. So this is hands down one of the best games I've played in a while. Probably one of the most entertaining videos for you all as well. Uh, let me know if you want to see more like tornado towers like that. And I'll suggest it to the staff that they put those in there more often. So uh, anyway, the win doesn't even end there. On top of that, we won. Well, actually, I believe we won zero ounces of gold today. I don't know why they keep putting the gold dice in there when there's no... Uh, gold bars but it doesn't really make any sense so we won zero ounces of gold today unfortunately 
But uh, last but not least, needless to say, we won like 1,528 quarters. Let's divide that by four to get the dollar amount. That means we got $382 in quarters. That's pretty decent right there for the quarters. So anyhow, that right there is not bad, not bad at all for a $400 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, be sure you leave a like on it. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell icon. That way you're notified for future videos. And if you want to check out the most recent video on my channel, that will appear at the bottom right of the screen. If you want to subscribe, that will appear at the top right. If you want to uh, check out the most recent video on the second channel, I highly suggest you would. That will appear at the bottom left of the screen there. And if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos, that will appear at the top left. So with all that being said, I will see each and every one of you all on tomorrow's videos. Y'all take care and have an awesome day.